Welcome to the Cantor's New World Fine Wine Encounter. We're here with winemakers from Argentina, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand and the US. There's some fantastic wines here, some big name winemakers. The readers are here meeting them. Let's go and do the same, see who's here and see what there is to taste. If I were to choose only one, I would do our Purple Angel Carmenet. It's quite a unique wine, and it comes from Carmenet grapes that are quite, quite local and unique to Chile. And it's a wonderful blend of Carmenet coming from two different spots, different terroirs within Colchagua Valley, with an 8% of a Diver Dope, which makes the wine fantastic, unique, powerful, sensual, all what you want to express with the wine. It is there. I showed Sol de Sol at uh, Steven Spurrier Masterclass and I'm showing uh, Anvilka from South Africa in the tasting room. But if I had a choice, I would, I would show Crisea from Portugal, which is certainly not in the new world, but the wine <laughs> is really completely new because ma making uh, in, in Portugal, making wine non-fortified from the Douro grapes is something rather, rather new and uh, for me it's a kind of new world experience. Probably it'd be the Heartland, uh, Dolcetto Lagrain, which uh, you tasted before. It's quite an interesting blend because you've got two Italian varieties. And uh, in, on their own, they're, they're wonderful. Dolcetto is big and rich and, and fruit driven. And Lagrain is quite tight and very, um, sort of, uh, pretty tannic as well. But they blend beautifully together. And no one's ever blended the, uh, the two varieties before in the world. So it's you know, one and only in the world. Um, and it's nice actually showing the Italians, uh, Australians can put a different slant on, on making wine. Obviously our uh, entry level wine, the Amalaya, uh, has a great success. Mm -hmm. um, and for, for everyday wine, I think this is the very best we can, we can do at Colomé. Uh, whilst uh, if you of course white, like white wine, you would have to have a Torontes, which is something quite different. And if you, our, our Malbec estate, obviously, is the more serious wine and unfortunately also the more expensive. I show the Ara composite Pinot Noir from 2007 because it represents for us, I think, a real uh, commercial, not only a commercially successful wine um, in its style, quality and value, but from a packaging perspective, I think it really delivers something different. I would show the Lane 2007 Viognier. Uh, for me, the hallmark of that wine is its natural acidity, which is uh, the hills in South Australia are fantastic for that. All our vineyards are above 450 metres altitude, so the difference between daytime and nighttime temperature can be up to 20 degrees. So we get all the richness and ripeness that you'd expect with Viognier, Lo lots of stone fruit and apricot flavours, but then this very lovely clean mineral finish and uh, for me a lot of them can be quite big and clawing on the palate whereas this has a lovely freshness to it.